it's me, Caroline, and two nights ago, before going to bed, um, I was like starting my meditation, and then it popped in my head. I was like, yes, I know what I'm going to film this week, and I uh, said to my brain, thank you for this idea, but I can't think about all the things I'm going to say. I have to go to sleep now. So it was a review about the Carandash um, fountain pen. I bought this, I think, a year ago. Yeah, last summer. And they, there wasn't that much review about it online. So I thought it was a great first pen to review um, since I came back. Um, as I said, last time I have a pretty collection a pretty hefty collection I have let me just make a quick quick parenthesis I have the pilot parallels that I want to review to um, I don't think I'm talked about the Kaweco Perkeo and I really want to compare them to the Kakuna so stay tuned for that and What's, uh, what's new? I have a lot of uh, Twisbees, Echo and Echo T and I've got quite a few more Lamis so yeah I have this and a lot of ink and I was thinking about doing maybe like ink reviews and show what they look like with different size nibs and maybe paint with them and show you like the shading, the sheen, all those things. So for today, let's jump into the Carandash review. So as always, I'm using my trusted Rodia dot pad and the ink in my pen is from Monteverde USA. It's char white. It's a really beautiful purple. Even though I act like I was reviewing the one and only Carandash fountain pen, the model I'm reviewing is the 849. It has a beautiful clip and the name is hidden underneath it. The nib size I got is the medium. My shop also had a fine, but I saw online that they had uh, extra fine and even broad nibs. This is one of the most expensive pen I bought myself. It's ranged from 80 to 85 Canadian dollars. This fountain pen is made from aluminum and it has an hexagonal shape. The grip is made from plastic. Some people find it cheap, but I find it very comfortable. It's also one of the smoothest nib I own, especially on Clairefontaine paper. It's buttery smooth. I would be curious to try the fine and extra fine to see if they're as smooth as this one. It is possible to do some nice calligraphy with this pen, but that's not the purpose of the nib but it has a really nice bounce to it. Another nice feature about this pen is that it doesn't use proprietary, what a hard word, cartridges. Uh, you can use international cartridges, short or long. Posted, the pen is 18 cm long. It's way too long to be used like that, so I never post it. Other than that, it's a really nice feeling to hold this pen. It has a very nice weight, it's super sleek and cool, and it looks very classy. Other than that, I would say that this pen doesn't give you so much shading because it's quite a dry pen, so the ink color is quite consistent. While I was looking up the stats for this video, I wondered for the first time ever where the name Carandash came from. So I did a little Googling and found that the founder of Carandash uh, founded the company in 1915 in Geneva. His name was Arnold Schweitzer, and he took the name of a French cartoonist named Emmanuel Poiré, born in 1858. He made out the pseudonym Carandash from the Russian word Carandash, meaning pencil. I thought that was cute. So in conclusion, I really, really love this pen. Uh, it's the most expensive I bought myself and I really want to get other um, colors maybe the neon pink maybe the yellow the green I don't know we'll see 
I still have another like different pens I want to try maybe before spending so much money on a pen uh, but yeah I really enjoy this it might not be for everyone but uh, because I like smaller pens it's really uh, the smallest I have the, for comparison let me get this I, I also really love the Kaweco um, sports but they are a lot shorter once they, they are capped they, they become a decent size but still like the grip section is a lot bigger on those pens so yeah that was my review please tell me what do you think about this pen do you have it were you considering buying it I have so many questions but um, I'll see you next week. Take care.